Now then, the group Five Star are back in town. The group who you might say stumbled into the spotlight back in 1983. Now, having moved to America, the band are very much still together, and they say they still love making music. It's 12 years since Five Star burst into the music success stratosphere, securing an array of big hits. Managed by their father, the family group from Romford looked destined to become the new Jackson 5. With 12 top 20 hits, the money just kept rolling in, netting them an estimated 15 million pounds. Laden with rich trappings, the five teenagers made it big, idolised by fans who copied the girls' orange hair and braces worn by the boys. Winning a Brit Award for Best Group in 1987 appeared to seal their fate. Like so many others, they slipped out of the charts and into financial difficulties. The five-star mansion had to be sold, and many items of memorabilia were auctioned off. Now based in Los Angeles, the group have a new look, new album, and new single, originally sung by Nat King Cole, which they hope will blast them back into the charts. Four of Five Star are with me now in the studio. Stedman, Doris, Lorraine and Delroy Pearson. Now the lead singer Denise can't be with us because she's pregnant and isn't feeling too well. Get better soon, Denise. Now you're all sitting here cringing and also <laughs> singing along to some of that stuff there, uh -huh. cringing at the old stuff. What was so bad about it, Stedman? Oh, it wasn't bad. I wasn't cringing at it. It's, <laughs> no, it's just some of the things that they've just said. I mean, Del and I never hair. wore braces and <laughs> orange hair and everything else that went with it. No. So, do you feel that, that you're making some kind of comeback, or have you never really been away? Uh, we've never really been away. You know, it's just um, our first time in five years we've come back to England, so I guess They'll refer to it as a comeback, but no, we'll still be making music in between that time. Sure. Cool. So you've actually been based in L.A. for about five years, mm -hmm. haven't you, Lorraine? That's right. So how's it going over there? Good. We were all just um, thrilled to be relaxing and be able to walk on the street without being recognized so much. And it was kind of like a freedom for us, you know, a time to grow and to get into new music and study the music scene in America, which helped us a lot. Yeah. yeah you've actually, experience. you've lost your Romford accents, haven't you? There's a hint of the L.A. accent coming out there. Oh, no, no, I don't. Fault. No, really. <laughs> it's not, not my fault. It's not my fault. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the whole thing is very much a family affair, isn't it, really? Was that because of your father? Did he influence you a lot? He did. He was, he, he's been in music forever, you know, and with he'd come home late at night and would hear him blasting whatever he did in studio with other artists and uh, we all loved music and we all some, for some reason leaving school we all wanted to be famous we didn't want to just go out and get jobs i don't know why but we just all loved performing together yeah did it actually irritate you at the time that everybody compared you to the jackson five i mean <coughs> no it was an honor yeah. for us yeah. it was expected really yeah. yeah yeah you didn't do it because of them because they <coughs> no. 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 no no it was just something that happened naturally for us yeah, yeah. As we had our own thing going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, it is a completely different style to the kind of mm -hmm. thing they were doing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, definitely. But we, yeah. We, Five we, brothers and sisters. Yeah, exactly. So in family, yeah. so you can't help not being compared. But it's yeah. an honour for us because we love them very much. Yeah, sure. Do you think your style has changed <coughs> an enormous amount in the last 12 years? Yeah. I yeah. think it's matured mm -hmm. more, more so than, than changed because, I mean, uh, some of the, the, the previous work that we've done before, like Every Heartbeat, Something About My Baby, we were leading to this kind of style anyway, mm -hmm. so it, it's, just, mm -hmm. it's just progressed, you know, right. it's matured. Mm -hmm. and it's, but the single up. was actually originally recorded by Nat King Cole, wasn't That's it? Right. That's mm -hmm. right. Is he one of your heroes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We love Nat King Cole. Absolutely. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that was one of our favourite songs, actually. We were like... <laughs> so happy when we heard that there could be prospects of us covering the song because yeah. we've never we've never done a cover version before and right. we love doing this one and so that single comes out on monday and what about the album that's right the, the, the album's going to be out on august 7th, uh, august 7th. 
Right, what's that called? Give it a quick play. Heart, heart and soul. soul. Hey, mm. heart and soul. So you really, do you consider yourself a soul artist then, really? No, no just we just consider ourselves as artists. Yes. Yeah. No. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. so we, we don't want to categorize ourselves as anything, really. Right. Just Fair just enough. Okay, well, we're going to hear some more of your wonderful music. Okay. This is Five Star performing their single, I Love You, for sentimental reasons. <laughs> 